Hey guys, Natural J here and I'm back to bring you my February favorites. I have quite a few products to talk about so let's jump right into it. Um, first up, I'm going to talk about hair care. I only have one product and it's the Garnier Fructis Curl Construct Creation Mousse. Um, I see Garnier Fructis is coming out with a new line just made for curly hair. Um, I was in Target and they had a whole display of like shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, this mousse. They had a gel and I was really drawn to it. This was only like $3 so um, I've been trying to give new styling products a try and I haven't really used mousse in a long, long time so I had to give this a try because it has shea, um, nourishing shea in there so it should be moisturizing for your hair and I absolutely love this mousse. I love like how my hair lasted all week. I posted pictures on Instagram if you've seen it and I love this mousse. It's my new favorite styler so if you're looking for something if you have curly hair to help um, keep your curls intact like all week I highly recommend this one. Next up is skincare and this was something I kept forgetting to mention for the past couple of months is the Jerrigan's Wet Skin Moisturizer. This has been a absolute lifesaver in the morning. Sometimes I wake up late and I have to hop in the shower and it cuts the time like in half with having to wash up, jump out the shower, put on lotion. You do everything in the shower. So you just wash up, put this on, towel dry, you're done. And this keeps my skin very moisturized all day. It doesn't dry my skin out at all. Absolutely love it. This is my second bottle. I tried the coconut one before. This is the Manoy oil one. I love these. I highly recommend these, um, especially if you're a mom on the go and you don't have a lot of time to um, get washed up in the morning. This is a lifesaver and it's very, very helpful. Next up, we're going to jump into fragrances. And first up is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Perfume. Um, I have been wanting this fragrance for a very long time and the fiance came with me for Christmas. I was so excited when I opened this and this is a very, very alluring, sexy scent. You can wear it day or night. I absolutely love it. I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this fragrance. So if you're looking for something new to give a try, I highly recommend this one by Chanel. And next up is the Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Fragrance Mist. Um, this was in like the Impulse shelves right by the register and this reminded me so much of a Bath and Body Works scent that I had like about two years ago. It was like a coconut um, fragrance. It just reminded me of summer and this smells so much like it so I had to pick it up. I absolutely love it. I love how small it is so I can just pop it in my purse when I need to refresh myself. So they had other fragrances but this one I was the most drawn to so I am going to go back and pick up a couple more. Hopefully they do not discontinue this. So um, if you're looking for something new to try Victoria's Secret like a new fragrance or something I highly recommend this one. Next up, I'm going to jump into skincare. Um, first up is the Bioderma. Um, it's like a 3 one product. It's like a makeup remover, um, skin toner, and something like a cleanser. Um, I picked this up at the holiday makeup pop-up show I went to back in December in New York. And this was at the Beautylish table. And this was all they had. Um, they had like different formulas. One for dry skin, for combination skin, and one for um, normal skin. This one is for combination skin, which I have. I have an oily T-zone and the rest of my face is normal. And and this is amazing. I love using this as a toner and this really helps remove like the extra makeup off of your face and I got the little trial size just to see how I like it but I am going to go back and purchase the really big bottle because I have been loving this ever since I started using it. You can tell how much I have been using this. Next up is the Lancome Genifique um, Youth Activating Concentrate Serum. Um, this I don't know, hands down is the best serum I've ever tried. Um, this came in like a seven piece set when I spent like $35 at the Lancome table in a Lancome counter at Macy's and I see what the hype is about this. I've heard so much about this and this serum is absolutely amazing. I've noticed a big, big difference in how my skin has been looking lately and it's been looking really bright and youthful and just flawless. Even when I don't have makeup on, my skin is looking really, really amazing. Um, I'm do want to go back and invest in the full size because you can't really put a price on skincare and this is just absolutely amazing. I can't stop like raving and talking about it or just using it every day. So if you're looking for great new skincare products and you want to invest some good money, I recommend this one by Lancome. Also by Lancome in that seven piece set that I got are these two moisturizers. It's the Visionaire set. Um, this is the daytime one, the cream multi-correct one. This one I absolutely love it. Um, I do get a little oily when I use this because I do have that oily T-zone, but I don't get as oily as when I use other moisturizers. This keeps my skin very moisturized all day. It's really soft. My skin feels soft. It works well under my makeup, and I absolutely love it. And then the nighttime one is the Beauty Sleep Perfector. I absolutely love this one as well. When I wake up, my skin looks refreshed. It keeps my skin moisturized overnight, and 
these are just really really amazing anti-aging products and the product that I had to spend the $35 to get the seven piece set is the um, cleansing water here this was highly recommended by the um, person at the counter. She said, um, this is great when you don't feel like washing your face after taking off your makeup. You just remove your makeup with this and your skin's cleansed. You can just go to bed and you can wake up the next morning. And this is amazing. It doesn't dry out my skin. It really does a great job of removing all your makeup off. I may have to use like two or three cotton pads to get the makeup off, but this is amazing. I love it. So um, if you're looking for something to help you get the makeup off faster, if you're Sort of like me, you don't feel like washing your face sometimes after you remove your makeup. I highly recommend this one. Um, next, I'm going to jump into makeup, which is no surprise. It's in this um, month's um, favorites. Um, first up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Palette. I picked this up a couple months ago at Sephora. Yes, one of my many trips to Sephora. And I wanted to see what the hype was about, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette. I have a couple of their brow products and I have like one single eyeshadow. This palette... I love it. Um, I've been using it nonstop like the past couple months for sort of certain makeup looks I've been using. So here's what the palette looks like. I am in love with Fudge and Morocco. These are like the perfect crease shades. And Noir, this black shade, it's amazing. It's like really dark matte black. It's very, very black and I love it. The only shade I really don't like is Spoiled. It was like real blotchy and like spotty when I tried it out. It really didn't wasn't as pigmented as the other shadow, so I think I can pop this on on top of another shadow. But other than that, this palette's amazing. I love their eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. They're smooth. They blend amazingly. They're pigmented. Overall amazing. So I see what the hype is about the Anastasia palettes. They are amazing. Oh, and I also love the little brush that it came with as well, like the blending brush. And it's like a smaller blending brush. These are amazing. Next up is the Boulevard Cosmetics Makeup Brush Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, Desi Perkins was talking about this on her Snapchat. I had to go out and purchase it. It's online and I love it. I love like the solid cleanser it comes with. You just wet your brush, you swirl it around and then it has like this little um, brush inside where you can like scrub your brush with it and you see the makeup coming off and it really gets down and deep cleans your brushes. I absolutely love it. I can see myself using this for a while because this hasn't gone down the past couple times I've used this. So if you're looking for a great new brush cleanser, I recommend this one. They also have um, different fragrances, but I got the one in Unscented. Next up is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Yes, I have been loving it. I finally got my hands on this. I also got this at the makeup show in New York I went to in December and everybody and their mother was talking about this concealer. and. I had to get my hands on it. I really wanted to try it just to see what the hype was about it. It's really, really amazing. I have mine in the shade Medium Beige. Um, it really does conceal very well under your eyes, especially if you're looking tired or anything. It really hides dark circles and that tired look very, very well. And, you know, it's very inexpensive. It's just as good as any other high-end concealer. So if you're looking for an amazing um, alternative to any high-end concealers, I highly recommend this one. And the last product I have to talk about, oh wait, I have two more. Um, one of the last products I have to talk about is the Stelazi, um shadows. They're the big ones over here. These are another purchase from the makeup show. I've been loving these, especially these two colors right here. Um, I've been trying to break out of using, you know, the um, saddle by MAC in my crease. I've been trying to use different crease shades and these are really, really amazing. They blend out so amazingly and I love how big these shadows are so I can see myself using these for a very, very long time. Plus they were $2 at the show so I could not beat that. Oops. And the last product I have to talk about is the Jouer um, Listen Brightening Powder. I won this on a giveaway on their YouTube channel and I absolutely love this highlight. It's pretty amazing. I love the packaging because it's impossible to spill this. If I spill this over, all the product is not going to go spilling out all over the bathroom floor. I love how this is and I love like it's a really soft pink shimmery highlight. Just when the light hits you the right way, it is really, really amazing. So it's really, really subtle. I love this highlight if you can see it right there. So Jouer has a couple, you know, they have amazing products. I want to get my hands on their liquid lipsticks sometime soon. So that was everything in my February favorites. What do you guys, what were you guys loving in the month of February? Until next time, see you guys later.